good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again on your favorite news show, the Dusty News Network. You know where nigga news comes first, and man, today we're going to be talking about it all. Antonio Brown is done with white women. We're talking about that. I got a simp story out there. I got a whole bunch of other stuff we're talking about. So make sure that you sit back and wait to see who will get the Dusty Award winner of today. And before we get started, question of the day for you brothers out there. Who will win the Super Bowl this year? Shout out to my 49ers. They're 11 and 2. You know what I'm saying? You guys already know where I'm going. But make sure you comment in the comment box right now as to who was your pick for the Super Bowl. And let's get into the news. My man Antonio Brown is back at it again, dustying it up on the internet. Just a few days ago, he was begging the NFL to give another chance. Because y'all know he got cut from the Raiders. Well, let's go back. The Steelers, he won a trade, got to the Raiders. He was dusting it up on the Raiders. So they cut him before the season started. Then he went to the Patriots, and he was on the Patriots. And then Belichick got his ass up out of there. And then now nobody won't touch him because he has some legal issues. So now he was saying that he was going back to school. He was going to be a rapper. And then he said he wanted to get back into the NFL. And then he clowned the NFL like two days ago. And now he's saying something that's very, very interesting. I know a lot of black men going to be pissed off about it. Because Antonio Brown says, no more white women in 2020. What? Now, you know them black men don't like that. What do you mean, Antonio? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No more white women. You know, niggas, they love white women. So, but think about this. Antonio Brown, you got five kids, three by this white girl named Kyrus. Now, if you see the, they going back and forth with it on Instagram. This is her post up here. And um, she says this, and if you look at the end of it, it says 100, okay? Here's my problem with, it is with you niggas. The white girls y'all date, why do they use 100? What's the point? This is what I'm talking about. Y'all are so dusty in y'all interracial relationships. Why would you go get somebody that talk like that? Any white girl that knows um, E-40 lyrics that uses 100, that says, my nigga, that knows any kind of, um, that knows who Blueface is, anybody that's that hood, I don't want, I don't want, no, 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 no. I, if I'm going to get a white girl, she going to have to be a hiker, she going to have to be a eating trail mix, wearing Birkenstock sandals. This is the kind of white girl I would deal with if I was doing that. But this no more white women in 2020 thing, bruh. You already got three kids by one of them. What you gonna do? You gonna become pro-black now? You gonna go over there to sign at her TV? You gonna become a hotep? You gonna become Shea Dust Allah? Huh? Is that what you gonna do? Huh? Antonio Brown, stop playing, bro. Okay? You Negroes love these white girls. You can't stop messing with them. You can't stop thinking about them. 2020 will come, Antonio Brown, bipolar ass, will have a new white woman on his arm. Just like a lot of y'all, but I'm not hating on it. I'm not hating on you though. Go ahead and do you do, do what you do, okay? That's all good. Next video. So we going all the way to my favorite African country, Uganda. Shout out to y'all, y'all know I love you. That's like my second home away from home. I've been there six times. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, Ken Ganda. It's my African channel. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Shout out to the team, Ken Ganda. Well, we're gonna talk about. A shady situation, all right? Marie Stopes is an NGO in Uganda that deals with family planning. And what they're there to do on the continent is to make sure that a lot of the situations that happen in Uganda don't happen. Like Uganda has a high HIV rate and it has been decreasing over the years. Thanks to my man Museveni and NGOs like Marie Stopes. However, Last month in November, they had to recall one million condoms. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> not one, not 10, not 100, not 1,000, not 10,000, not 100,000. One million condoms 
because this shady, dusty ass company, Lifeguard, creates condoms with holes already in them. Damn! <laughs> I mean, have I ever used them before? Let me think. Germany music! Have I ever used Lifeguard condoms? I don't think so. Listen. If you go to Africa, never use lifeguard condoms. They are dusty. Do you know how many people, you know what I'm saying, bought those condoms, used them, it could have still caught some or got somebody pregnant because lifeguard is dusty? How do you have holes already prepackaged in the condoms? Nigga, is the condoms made like Swiss cheese? How do y'all poke holes in them already? And y'all know what they're gonna be saying. See, y'all purposely trying to spray AIDS in Africa. And now I'm starting to kind of believe it because that is dusty. You ever heard of Durex doing that? Or Lifestyles? No, but Dusty Lifeguard Condoms is doing that. So if you go to the continent and you got somebody out there that's real thick and they're super thick in Uganda, make sure that you only use, you know what I'm saying, for some of y'all because y'all y'all have uh, problems with you. Extra medium Durex. Extra medium lifestyles. Magnum though. Magnum play up. Magnum. Magnum. But make sure you get the, the ones from the good part of town. Don't use them shady lifeguard brands because you'll mess around and have like 14 people pregnant. Next video. So shout out to the brother that sent me this screenshot. Okay. On the book. And you guys know I will do stories on shady trifling Facebook posts or shady trifling uh, Instagram posts or any dusting that's going on on social media. I will definitely do it. But shout out to the brother, okay? And y'all see the post right here. Bring it up on the screen. Let me get my, my, my phone. You see two people that's in bed together, right? But they're not in bed. The brother is in the hospital. And he's there with this, you know, multicolored, dustina, angry chick that he's with. But let's read what she says on the post and we're gonna block her name out. When you stab him and he don't tell. So what does that mean in my Negro way of thinking? Well, obviously she stabbed his ass, put him in the hospital. And you see the brothers out there got the little tag on his arm. She laid up with him in the hospital when she the one that stabbed him and he didn't snitch. Now, problems for him from not snitching. But why you still laid up with her like she not gonna finish the job? And this is what I'm talking about. Do you know how many black men are out there getting their ass whooped every day in a relationship? Getting stabbed, getting hot grease thrown on them, getting beat up, but won't tell nobody because they're ashamed? I'ma tell you, if you stab me, I'm telling on your ass. I'm pressing charges because I'm a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. If you stab me, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm calling the police. I'm crying. Oh my God, I can't believe she stabbed me like that. Oh Jesus, please come get her. I'm gonna take you to court. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna do all of that. If you put your hands on me, I'm, I, listen, I'm gonna be, you going to jail. You going to jail. I ain't tough like that. I went to church when I was coming up, so I ain't no street nigga. I'll snitch. If you stab me, you going to jail. You, I want the fullest extent of the law. And I got money too. I'm going to get a lawyer. I'm, and I will, oh, you know what kind of lawyer I'm going to get? I'm going to get me a black female lawyer. And we're going to put your ass in jail forever. So a lot of you brothers out there got to stop being so damn calm. Acting like, oh man, she stabbed me, G. It's all good. Then you laid up with her like everything is cool. Until she stabbed your ass and then you'd be dead. So you better, you better stop being a simp, pimping and get your tail on and start snitching up in this thing. Well, it's been such a hard thing to do. So many talented, dusty people on this episode. My man, Antonio Brown. You got the brother that got stabbed. And I'm getting old, so I don't remember all the stuff that I've talked about. So we're gonna have to check about it right here. Oh, you got the bootleg lifeguard contest. Dima, Germany music.
Drum roll, please! It's a tie between the lifeguard condom and that dusty simp who got stabbed. How do you do that? How do you poke holes in condoms in Africa where you know people need help and people are out there just doing all type of screwing just and trying to keep themselves clean and not have no damn babies and you poke holes in condoms. They got to recall one million condoms because you dusty. That's just dusty. Dusty meter goes all the way up and brother, you got your ass stabbed and you in the bed with her like everything is cool. She see that she got bring it up Dima. 29,000 shares. All of those likes. You see that? They want black men to get their butts kicked. That is dusty and crusty. Do you know what? It's over for you. There's a tie. Go ahead, Dima. Throw that dust on him. Well, brothers, it was so hot, man. I really, really, really had fun. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell on my channel to be alert whenever Dusty News Networks come on. Y'all know we out here spitting that real. Niggas can't fade us. And if you want to support my content, patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. Now, why is that important to support my content? Let me go ahead and do my little sales pitch. Dima, Germany music! Listen. Brothers gotta start supporting other brothers, right? We don't have a lot of black male media in this thing and they be demonetizing my videos because this shit be too real. So I need you brothers to give me your damn money so we can keep this thing cracking and we can go ahead on and get realer and get more brothers involved in the mix. Shout out to negromanosphere.com, my blog. Over 1,200 articles. We need brothers to support our content. We getting it better. I got the green screen now. I got editors and stuff. Want to pay for this stuff and make it better for you brothers. And I can't get the money from nowhere else. So $5 a month is all I need. That means one shot of Hennessy donated to me a month. We can take this thing to the next level. I really appreciate you brothers. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.